truth. Just that word alone seems to cause problems in certain circles nowadays. Some people have even tried to erase the idea of truth as a whole. But the reality is that there is truth that exists in this world. There is truth, in fact, and if there is truth, then there must also be things which are false, obviously. There are ideas and perceptions that just are not accurate. And ideas in opposition of one another cannot both be true. And if you believe anything in this world, you believe someone else is wrong or incorrect. There's nothing wrong with being wrong, though. What I mean by that is, there's nothing wrong with having bad information, so long as we are able to correct our thinking when shown otherwise. We've all believed something, I'm sure, that just wasn't true, whatever it may have been. But eventually, we became aware of the truth, and we changed our way of thinking to align with what is true. The truth didn't change, just our knowledge of what is true. In this same manner, all of us try and seek after truth. All of us try and make sure that our way of thinking aligns with what we know to be true. At least, we should. We shouldn't have a mindset of wanting to always be right, but rather a mindset of wanting to know what is right. And I believe that the most important issue we can have the correct information on is this. Why are we here and where are we going? In the Bible, these answers can be found. I've talked about them a little bit in some past videos. We are created beings, created by God, but currently in a fallen state. Because of the rebellion of humanity, we now are born into a fallen state separated from God, condemned to be separated for eternity. But there's a fix, a cure. God provided a way so that each of us can be reunited and have a restored communion with God. Jesus, his son, came down to earth and took upon himself our sins. He took our sins, our transgressions upon himself and died on the cross. He died on the cross because that's what the punishment for our sin is, death. He died, he paid the price. He provided a way so that we can each have that restored communion with God. God created us so that we can have fellowship with him. But that was broken because of our rebellion against God. But the fix that Jesus provides, the salvation from our sins, is a way for us to be reunited with God. All we need to do is believe. Accept this salvation. Let Jesus save you. Because without that salvation, each of us are already doomed. That is the truth of God's Word.